I'm going to read a poem called Heaven that's in my book Broken Cup. Um, it's an early poem in this book that chronicles um, my journey with my husband through early to middle stages of Alzheimer's. So this poem Heaven um, takes place in time um, early on, very, very early on in the onset of his illness, uh, a very crucial time because both of us were realizing that we had entered something we couldn't stop. It was inevitable. Uh, everything seemed normal, but there were these intimations of finality and impermanence that we couldn't ignore. We had also just gotten a new puppy. So the poem is called Heaven. The leaves are turning, one by one carried away in the crisp wind. In one letter he penned, Coleridge turned away, calling love a local anguish he meant to leave behind him. Away, away, says the blue and gold day, and no one hears it but the wind whose law it echoes. The dog has a red ball to chase. You pick a flat, perfect stone for the wall you hope to live long enough to rebuild. I prune briars, pick burrs from the dog's fur. I teach, come and sit, sit here, a longer sit beneath the cedars. The grass is freshly cut, sun low, all the energy of a summer's day rushing into bulb and root. The dog runs off, returns. The stones balance steeply. Good work, good dog. This is heaven. Sit, stay. A poem, all a poem really is, is a map of a mind and heart in a given moment and of time and place. And the poem, through a pattern of images and statements, registers what that human being, what that person is thinking, feeling, what is lifting up through them, and the poem manages to give that expression. So if you think of it as a, a poem is of one human being speaking to another, a portrait of a particular moment, it's a good, it's a good way to think of poems, I think. As much as you can in a poem, I think you want the rhythm and the word choice to pick up the, the, something about the quality and timbre of the moment. So in this poem, there are a lot of short declarative sentences. And the poem is about how time is getting shorter and how there isn't much more time left. And of course, we don't like that. So the poem ends, sit, stay.